Mountain View News. Welcome to another edition of the Mountain View News. I'm Army Sergeant Sam Dellen. Coming up in this edition, pachyderms deliver much appreciated news from home to deployed troops. Afghan pilots take flight and local farmers turn up a new profit. Convoy resupply in Afghanistan can be a difficult task. Specialist Brian Spradlin shows us how flying pachyderms lift morale one mission at a time. Air crews of Bravo Company, or pachyderms, of the 101st Combat Aviation Regiment are on the front lines in Afghanistan, flying missions throughout Kandahar and Zabul provinces to keep soldiers at remote outposts supplied and in the fight. The pachyderms go where others simply can't. Many of the locations that we end up doing our missions to are inaccessible by uh, vehicle traffic or what takes us 30 minutes to fly would take a ground convoy up to five to six hours to traverse over the terrain. The pachyderms carry their supplies in CH-47F helicopters, or Chinooks. Introduced in 1962, pilots say the Chinook series owes its long service record to its speed, versatility, and ability to carry over 10 tons of cargo. For soldiers at forward operating base lane, the Chinook's ability to bring them mail for the first time in a month is more than enough. The look on their uh, soldiers' faces when they get mail or when we bring them the cargo that they've been waiting for for a couple weeks, it, it gives you job satisfaction and it makes it worthwhile at the end of the day. That's key for the pachyderms, ensuring the needs of soldiers in the field are taken care of. A lot of people take stuff for granted out here until you go out there and you actually see what these guys are doing on the ground and it makes you realize you're doing something for them and helping contribute to what we're doing out here. Eight months into their deployment, the average pachyderm crew member has already flown 120 missions and logged over 500 flight hours. And they'll keep flying, going where no one else can to keep our soldiers prepared and in touch with home. Specialist Brian Spradlin, 16th MPAD, Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan. In a nation with few quality roads, dominating the air is vital for the Afghan National Army. U.S. and NATO forces are assisting in laying down the foundation for a capable and multi-skilled Afghan Air Corps. Specialist Adam Ross reports from Kandahar Airfield. Growing a competent Air Corps in the Afghan National Army, or ANA, is more than having a fleet of air assets. It takes skilled crewmen and pilots to maintain the fleet and fly them safely. At Kandahar Airfield, soldiers, sailors, and airmen are training ANA personnel in the ways of a self-sufficient and professional air force. Today's troop transport mission is prepped by Afghan soldiers and helmed by Abdul Hamid, who shares his cockpit with an American pilot. First of all, I want to make sure that I learn the technique of this airplane and the new plane that we have, which MI-17, is a very modern plane. To learn about this, we need uh, training. U.S. Air Force pilots are seeing progress with the training. Um, right now, we're just trying to bring all of his skills together where he's a complete mission commander. He's not only thinking about himself, but his other wingmen. Missions like today's not only give the Afghan crew valuable experience, but also diversify the American skill set, since the Afghan fleet is comprised of Czech-built MI-17 helicopters. Helicopter pilots dream to fly, and um, it's very rugged, and as far as there's never any maintenance issues, and uh, it's always, it's very dependable, very dependable aircraft to have. Afghan-led air missions take off nearly every day from Kandahar each one bringing the ANA closer to self-sustained air dominance in Afghanistan. Specialist Adam Ross, 16th MPAD, Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan. The Afghan government, recognizing narcotics trade as funding the insurgency, have placed heavy emphasis on stopping cultivation of poppy throughout the country. Here in Kandahar, local farmers are without income due to the decrease in poppy cultivation. In an effort to provide a viable alternative for farmers, the local government sent several farmers from the Daman district to Herat to receive saffron cultivation training. The Afghan Agricultural and Livestock Department Director, Abma Shah Rashan, expressed his happiness over the farmers turning to saffron over poppy. He said he hopes more farmers turn to saffron in the following years. That's it for this edition of the Mountain View News. I'm Army Sergeant Sam Dellen, and thanks for watching.